What is due diligence? What is property title verification? What are the precautions to be taken before buying property? What are the minimum documents required for due diligence? What are property link documents? One of the every human being's dream is own house. People invest their hard-earned money on dream property. 18 points to remember before you buy a property. If a vendor has valid legal title, on buying the property you will get absolute legal title. If the seller's title is defective, you will get defective title. The easy reasoning is that seller can transfer what he has, and nothing more. When buying a property, one must get the proper due diligence done by an expert, to keep away from getting entangled in legal troubles later. Here are some of the precautions you can take before finalizing a property deal. Due diligence is the investigation or exercise of care that a reasonable business or person is expected to take before entering into an agreement or contract with another party, or an act with a certain standard of care. By conducting due diligence, you will assess the risks associated with the property before you buy the property. One of the due diligence is to review property documents and ensure that there are no legal encumbrances on the property. It basically means to do homework and risk assessment before actually making the purchase. Precautions buyer should take care. Number 1. Verify the antecedents of the vendors or seller s. Generally people buying the property verify the antecedents of the property, but do not verify the antecedents of the vendors. It is better to verify the antecedents of the vendors as a first step. If the vendor's reputation is bad or if the vendor is a habitual offender or if the vendor already cheated people or if the vendor involved in real estate offenses or other crimes. It is recommended to drop the idea of buying the property from such vendor though the property title is perfect or not. If the vendor has good reputation and gentleman, one should think of going to the next step of verifying the property title. If the vendor has good reputation generally the transaction will be smooth. Number 2. Verify RARA Registration Details. The Real Estate, Regulation and Development, Act 2016. The stringent penalty clauses coupled with increasing awareness among homebuyers have forced developers to focus on timely project delivery. I do not recommend buying a property which is not RARA registered. The sole purpose of RERA's act is to protect homebuyer's interest while buying a property. If you are planning to buy a property, you should first verify the RARA website about the property. All you have to do is to log into the site and click on the project name. A page will open that will have three tabs promoter details, project details, and uploaded documents. Number 3. Verify the property personally. The personal verification is important part of due diligence and therefore it should not be neglected at any cost. It is recommended the buyer himself along with his few well-wishers must visit the property personally and do the through inquire with the neighbors, various people in and around the property like local people, elders, and people staying in the locality for a long time regarding the ownership and possession of the property, character of the vendors, charges, mortgages on the property, joint owners of the property and disputes if any, etc. Number 4. Verify if the sale of property is through sale agreement or general power of attorney or will deed. At the outset sale of property by sale agreement or will is not valid hence do not consider. If the sale of property is by the power of attorney on behalf of the owner. The document must be scrutinized thoroughly. Generally the developer will be the power of attorney holder. If the power of attorney is coupled with sale agreement or development agreement or given for consideration, such power of attorney must be properly stamped and registered. I recommend you to watch my video on GPA property sale or purchase and validity. Verify if the sale of property by a minor. As per the provisions of the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act, 1956, any property or share in property owned by a minor child, cannot be disposed or mortgaged or charged or transferred by sale, gift, exchange or otherwise of by the natural guardian of the minor, without taking permission from the court. If the sale of property by minor, verify for the court orders before you proceed for next step. Precaution about pledged or mortgaged property. 
Some people may have taken loan from the bank by pledging their property. Ensure that the seller has paid back the entire amount due. Do not be satisfied with the receipt of the payment made. Release certificate issued by the bank is necessary for all the debts over the property. You could buy a property without the release certificate. But if you want to take a loan in future, the release certificate is a must. Verify original documents. Inspect all the original documents of the seller and read all the documents carefully. If the vendor states that the original documents were missing or stolen or lost, then it is better to know the full facts relating to missing documents. Know whether the vendor has filed a complaint in the concerned police station and got the copy of FER with regard to missing of documents, and or what are the other steps he had taken to trace them as a prudent person. There is a possibility of keeping the original documents in banks, financial institutions or private lenders to create mortgage or charge over the property by way of deposit of title deeds. So it is better to get full information regarding original documents that are missing. And it is always better to give a public notice with regard to purchase of the property on the basis of certified copies of the title deeds instead of original documents which were lost. Engage a competent lawyer. There are several laws involved in immovable property transactions. Therefore, it is always recommended to engage an expert, competent lawyer to investigate the title, possession, ownership and other aspects. Public notice in the newspapers. It is not compulsory to issue a public notice in the newspapers when you are buying a property. But, there is a possibility to discover, the property litigations or charges or interest in the property if any, by issuing a public notice. Generally public notices are taken out in widely circulated newspapers notifying the intention of the purchaser to purchase the property. So that the persons, who have vested interest in the property, could come forth with their objections along with documentary proof. It is recommended to publish such notices after the due diligence. Such notice acts as an intimation or information or a caution to all the concerned to facilitate them to take necessary steps to protect their interest. What are the minimum documents required for due diligence? What are property link documents? Let us understand what are link documents with an example. Piece of land or plot or flat you are buying from the existing owner, A. A. Bought it from B. Through GPA. B. Purchased it from C. Through sale deed, and property was gifted to C. By D. In this example, property was transferred four times and you need all four property documents for due diligence which are called as link documents. Most of the property buyers rely on the copies of the documents provided to them by the vendor or seller. It is always recommended to get the certified copies of all the link documents from the sub-registrar office to know the genuinity of the documents. Number 2. Latest encumbrance certificate. Number 3. Conversion certificate, if the land is converted from agricultural land. Number 4. Development agreement if any between landowner and developer. Number 5. Building or layout plan approval. Number 6. No objection certificate from local authorities. Number 7. Tax paid receipts such as property tax etc. Number 8. Completion certificate. Number 9. Occupancy Certificate. And provide any other documents required by lawyer for due diligence.